Hey, how y'all doing, my brothers and sisters? Um, first and foremost, you know, I just want to say um, how, you know, how I am unworthy of this dream as I am unworthy of all my other dreams, you know. You know, I'm just a slave for the Lord. And, um, you know, at times, you know, he, you know, he shows me certain things. Um, you know, certain dreams are personal to me. And, um, you know, some dreams as if, as the one I'm going to speak on today, um, you know, I just believe that, you know, it's for the body to, um, you know, truly know and to truly be prepared for, you know, um, Jesus is coming and, you know, he just continuously, you know, at, you know, at his own will, you know, shows us in, um, in various different, different ways. So, you know, I pray that, I pray that, you know, what I say and my, and this dream that he has given me will encourage you and you know just you know allow for you to fight the good fight of faith um well um at the beginning of this dream it was as if i was in the street um as if i was in the street and it was like you know like you know how like street can be where you know it has stores you know on the right and the left you know like when you come to a stoplight well you know i'm you know i'm walking across the street and um this woman um she had she she was pushing her car um like you know in this gas station and um you know like she was pushing the car and you know i just walked over there and i just you know i just asked her uh you know i asked her you know if she needed any help anything like that you know like you know if our if our car had died anything like that you know for like for me to like you know like give her car you know like a boost a jump so like you know like she was just explaining how you know she didn't really need no help and things like that, and you know like like the traffic was really heavy and she like she had to um, basically like push her car to the point where like you know like no cars would hit her car and things like that and you know I was just talking to her and conversating with her and then um, you know as we were talking and conversating first it was raining it was raining it was raining pretty bad like it was like to the type of like it flooding you know type of rain and then all of a sudden it was like the atmosphere changed like it went from it raining really hard to to it just all of a sudden just start snowing out of nowhere and when it started snowing this woman who came up to me from my left so I'm talking to the woman and she's right in front of me, like, you know, slightly to my right. And then this other woman, she comes up to me to my left. And, you know, I think I said a few few words to her about the situation about the other woman. And all of a sudden, I just hear this this weird, unidentified noise. Like it sounded beautiful, but at the same time, it was just weird. Like I never heard it before. I never, I never heard this type of sound before. And it was, and it was loud. And at the same time, it just was a mixing or a blending, blending of a type of sound. And I, you know, I just was like, what was that? And she, and she's looking in a direction towards the woman, but past the woman. And then the woman to my left she's she's like she's looking up in the air and she's like what is that like she just kind of just was like just in shock and she was just like what is that and then when she said what is that i turned around and i'm looking up in the air and it was as if the clouds had departed when she said what what is that and the clouds you know had departed and it was like a big hole in the clouds. And the clouds was not moving, but I could tell something was going on like in the heavens. And you know how like a um you know how like or tor like you know how a tornado is beginning to, you know, touch the ground. It got like this spiral that's going on. Like this skinny spiral that's going on. That type of spiral was coming from the clouds, but like the spiral wasn't coming down. It was just in the air, but it was spiraling from, from the clouds. Like, like, like basically like say like, like this was the cloud, it was spiraling from the cloud and just, just
just like just was just in, like 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 it, it just was just in it was just in the air and just spiraling like this. So I'm looking, and all of a sudden, from that spiral was coming forth all these angels, and they had these trumpets, like the long, like the long skinny trumpets, you know, like in certain pictures, and you know, like I'll include it, include that in this video, but at you know, like they had they had these trumpets in their hand, and there was a lot of them, but I could only catch a few, so. Um, you know, as they was coming out from the spiral, like, you know, like they was like, they, like they was blowing on the trumpets. And, you know, as they was flying in the air, there was a lot of people. At first it was just like the two women, but then it's, it seemed like it just changed. Where like, it was, a, it was a lot of people on the ground. And, you know, I couldn't really see all of them, but when they was coming out, everybody was just like lifting their hands up. Like they were just lifting their hands up, you know, and, you know, and including me, I, I was lifting my hands up. But like when I was seeing the angels come out, these words I remember I said, I said, I said, it is happening. It is finally here. And, and, you know, after I had said that, you know, like that's when I had lifted my hands up. And when I lift my hands up, I could see out of the corner of my eye that other people were changing like their like their clothes have changed. And the only thing they had on was white garments on. Them. And when I lifted my hands up, I I could see that my garments have changed. Had changed. And whatever I had on. It was nothing but a white garment. And and like when I lifted my hands up, I did like this. Like, you know, I looked down and I was looking at my hands. And then I did like this, like to see if it was really real. And after that, you know, I just had lifted my hands up. And then all of a sudden, this light just, it, it just engulfed me to the point where I couldn't see nothing but just the light. And, you know... I believe I was being lifted up, but at the same time, I couldn't recognize me being lifted up because I was just surrounded by the, you know, you know, by the Lord's light. I, you know, I just was just like just completely surrounded. And you know, like once that happened, it was just like I was just in this light, and it was as if I was just like taking in on the, taking in all all the light. I don't know how long I was just just in the presence of this light, but I can just kind of feel myself just being filled with this light and and then I woke up and I mean all that I can say is you know you know I just you know I just praise the Lord for him giving me the dream um you know I know you know I know that you know it's a lot of people out there who are you know they you know, like they are growing weary and, you know, it's just something in your heart that just, you know, that you just, you just truly like, you just, you just desire to be with the Lord. Like there's nothing here for you. You know, I, you know, you know I'm even, you, you know, in that transition, you know, because I don't want to get attached to this world. You know, like the Lord, you know, over time has detached me from things in this world you know you know like even to the point of you know like you know i have no desire to be married because you know you know we are his bride you know and i you know i you know i would gladly give up that sacrifice you know for jesus because he is worthy of it and you know when i woke up you know it felt as though the dream was real it felt as though it was really happening. This is really happening. This is really taking place. This is, you know, like this is not a dream anymore. This is really happening because the scenario was real. The, the you know, like the situation was real. And when the angels were coming out, it just, it just, it just, it just really let me know like, like this is happening. Now. You know, 
you know, we are going home. This is time. And, you know, um, you know, you know, I just bless the Lord because, you know, me coming out that dream, you know, I kind of, you know, I kind of was, you know, like, you know, I know that's kind of bad to say, but, you know, I kind of was disappointed because it wasn't, you know, it, you know, it wasn't, you know, the rapture. It, it really happened in, in, in like real life. And, you know, you know, it just my heart desires, you know, for, you know, for us to, to go to heaven, you know, you know, to be, you know, caught away up in the clouds with him. And, you know, all the saints who have died in Christ, you know, over the 2000 plus years. So, you know, you know, I pray that you, I pray that this, you know, that this dream encourages you and, you know, you know, that you don't grow weary and that you don't, you know, grow tired and that, you know, that the Lord is there and he sees all the things that we're going through, you know, and, you know, I just pray that, you know, those who are truly, you know, like seeking the Lord, that you have truly surrendered your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, that you have truly repented of your sins. You know, like the Bible says, you know, for us to examine ourselves you know if we be in the faith or not so you know examine your life you know you know like examine your life to see if you are truly following Christ have you repented of the sin have you stopped committing fornication have you stopped you know living how the world lives you know are you on that straight and narrow path you know you know you read the Bible and you know if you know if the Holy Spirit if the Holy Ghost convicts you of sin, just, you know, truly make that decision within yourself because the Lord has given us, you know, free will, but his sovereign will overshadows our free will. And, you know, he, you know, you know, if there's anything in your life, you know, you know, just pray to the Lord, you know, allow for it to be, allow for it to be your words, you know, you know, don't, don't repeat nobody else's words, allow for it to be the words in your heart, you know. Allow for your heart to truly open up and to truly accept the gift that God has provided through his only begotten son, Jesus Christ. So, you know, I, you know, I just pray that, that this encourages you and, you know, as well as, you know, those who may come on this video as they had on, you know, you know, on a previous, um, rapture dream that I had, you know, um, you know, you know, you know, I know, you know, that, that like people will come on here and mock and scoff and, you know, say, you know, I didn't really have this dream and things like that. But, you know, the only one that I, the only one that is with me to confirm such thing is the Holy Ghost. And, you know, like those who will comment and say, you know, evil things against me, you know, I just pray that the Lord, you know, blesses you anyhow, you know, allow for, I pray that the grace and the peace of God, you know, remains upon you. And I pray that, you know, like, you know, like that his mercy will, you know, abide strong upon your life. And, you know, I would just, you know, like, like just continue to pray, you know, for those who, you know, speak evil and, um, you know, you know, persecute me on, on, on anything. You know, so, you know, once again, you know, I pray that you be encouraged and, you know, continue to look up because as time continues to pass, you know, everything just continue to press forward until, you know, to the come of the Lord Jesus Christ. So I'm, I pray that you be blessed and I pray that, you know, if you are encouraged by this video, you know, may the joy spring up from the fountain that has been placed in until you buy the Holy Spirit. May you be blessed.